Um, yeah, I just, I, I got this meeting, so. Great. I. Oh, uh, happy birthday, buddy. All right, I'll make some breakfast. Happy birthday. I love you so much. Um, oh. mm. I want you to have a wonderful day. No matter what happens. Okay, okay, mom. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay. Hey, the zombie's up before noon. Hey, you're an idiot. Kyle, did you wish your brother a happy birthday? The guy's 21, lives with his parents, and wears an apron for a living. There's no happy in that birthday, Dad. Don't tease your brother, Kyle. Two-arm fire broke out last night, you killing see? a family of you four. It's been four suspicious plays in a week. And the guy is again suspected. Hey, uh, was that an envelope from Stanford I saw yesterday? You heard from Stanford? It was a rejection letter. Oh. Kyle, how is that possible? Sam didn't even go to college. Yes, he did, Kyle. For a month. And we're very proud of him for trying. It's just that college made him sleepy. Morning, Mrs. O. Mr. O, birthday boy. Yeah. Hey, Kyle, guess what? Don't sweat Stanford, man. Heard it's only the uh, fourth best university in the US. Is that right? You suck. Hey, no shame in community college, K-Fed. I almost went. So, big birthday plans, boys? Oh, uh, nothing too crazy. Oh. Come on, Sam. You've got to, you got to go out there and cut loose. You're only this age once. Come on. I like your thinking, Dad. I said we all get in the car, go get some smack, kill a hooker in Vegas. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I mean, patronize a hooker in Vegas. I would never kill a hooker in Vegas. I would never kill a hooker. Dad, what the hell is going on? Uh, uh, nothing. Nothing. I, you, you just have a great day, Sam. Okay, a, a great day. What was that? And they still do it. Yeah, they do it. Hey, 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 that girl. Uh, uh, wow. All I'm saying is you better prepare for a little alcohol poisoning tonight, all right? Nothing hospital grade, mind you. You better wear some puke resistant clothing. We are getting silly tonight, my man. We are going to the brick house where we always go. No? Why? No. What do you think? That's all I would plan for your big two one? No. God, unless you want to go. That was weird, right? What? My parents. Oh, Mom and Dad Oliver? They're always weird. Maybe my brother is right. I didn't exactly stick it out in college. Because it made you sleepy. Well, yeah, that's true, but... I mean, what did I do when I dropped out? I came right back here. I've been here since I was 16. Do we really want to be here in five years? Yes. Ten? Yes, because I am going to eventually turn us into a topless workbench. Would you rather buy insulation from somebody wearing clothes or somebody wearing no clothes? Is that weird? Look at me like that's weird. What? Holy oh crap, look at that. Look at this dog, man. This is the best dog ever. Maybe you want to get out on my side. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that was good. You want to know what you can change? No. Yes. No. Yes, ask Andy out. Ask her out tonight, man. She's coming out, get her drunk, ask her to a movie. The window is closed. We're friends. She just wants to be friends. How, how do you even know that? You never even tried. Yeah, I did, but then her dad died. Okay, so? I mean, all right, yeah, that's sad, but so what? You don't do that. You don't jump in after something like that. You look like a dick. It was two years ago, man. She got over it. She digs you, all right? Look at, she's smart, she's hot, she goes to college. She works at a crap shack like this with losers like me and you. What does that tell you? Just off the top of your head. She's got low standards? Exactly. Use that to your advantage before she figures it out, all right? Because she will, I'm telling you. Complaints about the bathrooms may I remind you that they are separated by gender for a reason. In the women's washroom, somebody left a massive... Mr. Oliver, Mr. Wysocki, nice of you to join us. Only 15 minutes late this time. We are so honored. Hey, Oliver. Happy birthday. Hey, thank you. Yeah, you won't be thanking me tonight when I'm hazing you like a sorority chick at your shindig. Can you two zip it? I'm trying to hear Ted's important lecture. 
get that, okay? As you can see, most of us are doing great in the sales contest, except for a select few who think their time is better spent constructing beer bongs. Oh, if you are uh, referring to me, uh, Ted the Head, I'm biding my time, okay? I'm like a snake in the grass, ready to pounce. Doesn't even make any sense what you just said. And don't forget that the winner receives a free 20 pound spiral cut ham. I'm Jewish, you jerk. Or a gift certificate for our Semitic and or Muslim friends. So go get them. Hey, I got you a present. <laughs> Andy, you didn't have to do that. Hey, don't open it in front of me, okay? It gives me this, like, gift-giving anxiety. Oh, all right. Here you go. <laughs> well, I hope your day off is tomorrow, because you're going to be hurting. Uh, no. No, uh, my day off is Saturday. What about you? Actually, my day off is Saturday, too. Do you, do you have any plans on Saturday? Your, your day off? <laughs> I'm going to be sitting in the library writing a huge psych paper being lame. <laughs> Right, no, yeah, I've, I've got plans also. Sleeping, waking up, uh, getting dressed. Xbox, I need you to punch me in the face right now. What do you think you're doing? I, I was... We don't pay you to watch television, Sam, and your name tag is crooked. Mm -hmm. This attitude thing has got to stop, okay? Right. That this sales contest for people like you, bud. Right? I know. It's not just about ham. It's about self-respect. Can't just keep skateboarding through life anymore. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm just not going to cut it here at the bench. Okay? You are on notice, Sam. Hey, what was that? Ted says I'm on notice. Well, so what, I live on notice. What'd you do? I don't know, I was just watching this show. It was really scary. Yeah, yeah, those things will kill you. It's like a thing where the baby gets stuck under a car or a bus or whatever, the mom gets all pumped up with adrenaline and lifts up over her head. You're Bruce Banner, that thing, man. I didn't touch it. What do you mean? I didn't touch it. It was too far away. I saw no, you touch it. It was too far away. It's like I moved it with my mind or something. And that's not the first time this has happened today. Something is really... Ah! What the hell, man? You were supposed to move that with your mind. Because of me? Uh, um, this is because of Sock. Well, you saved my life. You know that. I mean, you're like Batman. No, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely not Batman. I, uh, I just think it was one of those weird adrenaline car mom things. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah, neither do I. Okay. <laughs> well, it was really brave, so thank you. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, listen, Andy, I, look, I, I know you're busy on Saturday, but I was just thinking maybe you could... This is a bad idea. I'm... <laughs> what? What? It's 
Don't tell him I'm sick. I'm going home. Did you like that in there? Yeah! That thing with the air conditioner? You're like a hero now. My gift to you. Is this a carjacking? Are you carjacking me? For this? If it was an Escalade, maybe. You can have the car. I don't want the car. You can have the car. I just... Sam, I'm not a carjacker. I'm the devil. <laughs> Your name tag's crooked. Hey, Sammy. Dad, what, what are you doing? Waiting for you. You okay? No. I, I think I think I might be going insane. Bad day. Let's see. Um, got chased by a pack of dogs. Moved an air conditioner with my mind. Oh, and uh, the devil tried to carjack me. So overall, not a great day. Sit down, Sam. There's something I, I have to tell you. I, uh, I probably should have told you this a long time ago. I, before you were born, your mom and I sold your soul to the devil. What? I was really, really sick, and he came to us and offered us a cure. And in exchange, he would take the soul of our firstborn when he turned 21. Your mom and I thought, okay, well then fine, we just won't have children. Because if there's no firstborn, then there's no soul to take. About a year later, Dr. Burke told me that I was infertile, and we thought, that's great, nothing to worry about. R right. Except that, uh, as it turns out, old Dr. Burke had a bit of a gambling problem. And the devil paid off his debts, and in exchange, Doc had to tell this one little lie. Next thing you know, we're pregnant. I I'm so sorry, Sam. I, I wish I could make you forgive me, but how can you? Birthday boy. Bob, we're finishing with you because you're buying a drink up. Whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a cigarette button that was Sam. I need to talk to you right now. Come on. Where are you going? Don't you want to hang out with us? Just give me two seconds. All right. Happy birthday, Sam, I am. Oh, hey, thanks. Can I get a round of shots for these degenerates here? Yeah. On me. Ooh, look at me, I'm the big district attorney office chick buying all my friends with free booze. Ooh, look at me, I'm 25 years old and I still live with my parents. Oh, well, you know, I don't like you guys when I'm making out and stuff. Come on, you were so cute together. You guys should have never broken up. Uh, actually, I had to, Andy, because I found out that uh, she used to be a dude. <laughs> I heard you used to be a dude, too. Well, I heard that you had one time a friend. I don't have to go to the bathroom, Sam. I know. Something happened. Wait, yeah, I do have to go to the bathroom. What? Okay, I have a problem. I have a, I have a serious problem. Okay, go. But... Dude, seriously. Stop looking at my junk. All right, I got... <clears throat> um, my parents sold my soul to the devil. How drunk are you? Totally sober. 
How drunk am I? Talk to dogs, the air conditioner. I mean, I, I believe this. <coughs> You lucky bastard. What? Well, nothing cool like that ever happens to me, man. No, Sock, this isn't cool, this sucks. It does not suck. What are you talking about? You wanted some change, right? Well, check it out, buddy. Wish granted, you're the you're the magic devil guy with the kung fu mind grip now. You can tell Andy? No, I'm not gonna tell Andy. If she knows, she'll think I'm a freak. She'll never go out with me. You can make her go out with you, Damien. All right, Sock, you know what? I'm going home. Just make some excuses. Don't say anything, all right? Leave out the uh, devil thing, right? really nice. Not too gay at all. Hey, look, I get it. It's a big deal. You didn't choose it. Not fair. Nobody's blaming you for freaking out. Ah. Yes, sir. Chicken fried steak. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have arteries. Oh, do you want to try some? No. Do I have to... Do I have to go to hell now? Now? No, 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 no. Not now. You're going to work for me here in the earthly realm. Like, kill people? Wow. You're a real pessimist. Of course you won't be murdering anyone. You're just gonna bring escaped souls back to hell, you know, like a bounty hunter. That's cool, right? Huh. You got any root beer? Wait, 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 wait a second, so people can break out of hell? Yeah, yeah, that's a problem we've been having lately. You know, with the overcrowding and so forth. Honestly, we were underprepared for the influx. I blame myself. Hmm. Oh, yeah, but that's not your problem. All you have to do is track down fugitives and haul their asses over to a portal to hell. Easy. What do you mean by portal? Well, any place that seems like hell on earth is hell on earth. You <laughs> know? Like the DMV on Union Street? Yeah, drop off a fugitive, renew your license. I'm all about the perks. Oh, my God. Hey, kiddo, it's okay. I've seen how this all ends. Don't worry. God wins. And you'll be doing humanity a favor by putting bad guys right back where they belong. What do I have to do? There's your fugitive. He broke out of hell after 50 years for arson. All these little fires have been around town lately. He set them. He's a fireman. Well, he is now, yes. But when he was alive, he was a big time fire bug. Can't you just taste the irony? No. This upright citizen belongs in hell. Oh, gag. Look at that tool. Will you capture him already? So you want, you want me to kill him? What is this obsession with murder? The guy's already dead. What do you want me to do? I mean, how am I supposed to capture him? I... This will help. A vessel. Handcrafted in the bowels of perdition by the iniquitous and the vile. Oh, I forgot. You, you got 600 on your SATs, didn't you? No, I understand what it means. I'm just, I, I'm not doing this, okay? I'm not gonna be your stupid bounty hunter. You will do it. Or I'll take your mother. You refuse to work for me, her soul becomes forfeit. It's the lady or the tiger, Sammy. You think about it. <laughs> Damn. 
Tape hand. Doesn't look evil. What do you mean it doesn't look evil? There's demon heads all over it. Trust me, it's from the devil. It's evil. Sam, there's no such thing as the devil, all right? I mean, the guy was probably just some homeless person. No, he wasn't homeless. He had a, he had a suit on. Okay, and he turned night into day, and what about the telekinesis thing? Tell him about the telekinesis thing. What telekinesis thing? Oh! Ah! Still working on that one. All right, cool. Let's say you did meet Satan himself. There's no way he owns you or whatever, because there's no way another person can sell another person's soul. Why not? Because all myths say God granted humans free will. There's no way you can give away or sell another person's essence. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Just open it. Third devil. No, I take it back, Sam. That's a really evil mini vac. <laughs> I don't know. That devil guy was messing with you, and we sell those aisle 15, I think. <laughs> That'll work. vacuum thing and see how that all works out. I love this plan. Let's do it. this guy in the bag. What does that mean? Yeah, now, now, Sam. Sam, Come do on. Thing, do Sam, do it, do it, do it. Sam, do it, 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 do Shop. Ben would want eyebrows. Ben would want eyebrows, and you would want us to give them to him. Say yes. Just do it. Should have gone alone. What? Oh. Is Ben okay? Uh, uh, how, how did you know? I called her. What happened? Uh, we, uh, we were working on a project. What project? Um, making napalm. What? It's hard to explain, Handy. Okay, we'll try. Well, I, I, I can't really, I don't, you know. Yeah. Sam, what aren't you telling me? It's complicated. Yeah, what did you do? I mean, is it your fault? Yes, Andy, it's my fault, okay? I'm the loser who got Ben hurt, all right? Don't, hey, don't beat yourself up over that man. You had to lie to her. Look, she's got Ben covered. I say you and I go and burn the fireman. No, oh, I'm going alone, all right? But I, I can help, right? What did I just say? Stay away from me, all right? Going back to the firehouse and ending this. Yeah. Thank you. 
Come on, Mom. Let's get you to bed. They want to go instead. You tell them to come for me. It, actually, it, it, it's over. I just had to do one thing for the guy, and now I'm done. Everything's back to normal. You mean your soul? All mine. All right, so... You don't have to feel bad anymore. You and Dad can just treat me like I'm normal from now on, okay? Okay. All right. I'm so happy. Hey, Mom. Hockey. Lots of aggression, tons of blood. Wanna guess who my favorite team is? I can't do this, I tried, it's too hard. My friend got hurt, I lost the fireman. You, you have the wrong guy. So you can just take me to hell or whatever, I don't care. No, that's not the way things work, Sammy. You're of no use to be down there. Well, I'm not exactly kicking ass up here. You should just find somebody else before the guy kills more people. You do this a lot, don't you? Do what? Give up. Things get hard. Little Sammy takes the path of least resistance. Fine, fine, I'm a failure. I'll tell you what. Before you throw in the towel, why don't you do some investigating first? Look for motivations. I mean, why does the fireman do what he does? Who cares? Why, why burn down anything? He already did that when he was alive. Exactly. Why? Like I said. Terrible person. Drinker. Wife beater. He didn't fulfill his contract either. But I think you're on the right track, Sammy. I feel very good about this. Word of caution. I don't accept failure. Ever. I'm an asshat. Yes, you are. So we're cool? Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. When do we throw down with Fireboy? Let's take a walk. If the devil doesn't want to help you, then why do you care? Because people are dying, Sock. I mean, if you don't know them personally, does it really matter? All right, listen. You remember Ricky Shermer? Oh, Ricky Shermer? Yeah. Yeah. They're from high school, he set the gym on fire. Like seven times. He kept going back over and over. I know, that guy was nuts. I love that guy. Right. Started drinking with him. So I started thinking, why did Ricky keep burning down the same place? Because he was afraid of the gym showers. No, no, because they kept rebuilding. Right. But FYI, Ricky was totally afraid of the gym showers. Listen, <laughs> I think the fireman might be burning down the same places he burned down 50 years ago. We need to find out who he was when he was alive. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. We need access to records. Cool, OK. Criminal records.
You're evil. I've heard. I cannot believe you came to my work. I can't believe you never come to mine. I mean, don't you ever need a battery or a room box or something? I need a restraining order. What part of I don't want to see you anymore do you not understand? Listen, nobody's more proud than me that you stopped having sex for money, Josie. I just wish you'd stop with all the shoplifting. All right, all right, all right. All right. Listen, you know all those arsons around town? I think they're connected to fires 50 years ago. We just need you to look up a name. It's not illegal. Whoa. Probably not illegal. I am a sworn officer of the court. I took an oath to uphold the law. <laughs> That's funny. Because 90% uh, of the stuff we did in the parking lot of this courthouse is illegal in 12 states. Oh, God. Oh, do you know what I would magnify with this thing? I would make my ass my letterhead. Maybe you could look up the addresses and see if any of these places burned down before. Last arson was the fire station in Bellevue. Just please check. If I'm wrong, we'll go. You'll never see us again. Hey, I'm not promising that. For you, not for him. Same station was set on fire in 1950, but the fire was put out before any real damage was done. But who? Ned Schmecker. He tried to burn down his school, his ex-girlfriend, all unsuccessfully until the last one. When he died in a fire, he said at his parents' house. Probably killed himself because his name was Schmecker. Sam, all the places that Schmecker burned down, they're the same places that the arsonist burned down last week. I think you're right about this. Has every place been torched already? No, the parents' house hasn't been touched, but it looks like it's not a house anymore. It's an elementary school. We gotta go. We gotta get to the school right now. Right, stop. Wait, what? No, what stop? This time we're gonna be ready. <laughs> We're gonna get killed. What? We're gonna get killed. Why? This thing still doesn't work. Maybe we need to get some batteries for it. No, it doesn't use batteries. It uses a recharger. Is it ready? Sam, is it ready? No. So where do you, what do you, what do you use free weights? You work out? You bench like 240. Oh. Oh. Sam. I have never been so attracted to a man in my life. I, that's not what I meant. I'm...
I'm pretty sure I wet my pants. DMV. This is the portal? Hell on earth. All right. Which one do we go to? Right there. Fugitive transfer? Yeah, uh, yes, I, I think so. Place the vessel on the mat. Never seen one of these before. Have a nice day. Wait, 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 um, so they're not all little vacuums? The boss gives you the vessel he thinks you can handle. You must be a real moron. <laughs> DMV! Have a nice day. You're still mad. Yeah, right. Of course you are. I, I snapped at you like a jerk at the hospital. Look, um, Andy, I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? And I understand if you don't want to talk to me anymore, but I really hope you will because my life would suck even more if we weren't friends. Look, I know it was a horrible day. It's all right. Ah, I haven't wrecked yet. Oh, good. Yeah. What does this symbol mean? It says Bala. It's Sanskrit for strength. I don't know, when I saw it, I thought of you. And by the way, I don't think you're a loser, Sam. I like you. I love working with you guys. You know, ever since my dad died, my job is the best thing in my life, is all I'm saying. Pathetic, right? Nothing about you is pathetic, Andy. No, oh, that was such a tender moment. For real. Um, I'm... Can I talk to you for a second? Just you? No. Okay. What is wrong with you? She's adorable. So sweet. Stay away from her, I swear to God. I swear to who? Like I play in the kiddie pool. Sam, I just wanted to congratulate you. Great job with the arsonist. You'll be happy to know he's right back where he belongs, getting his nuts burned off for eternity. Uh, who's the hero, huh? Yeah. You're the hero, man. Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> I have a present for you. A vessel for the next fugitive. So I have to do this forever? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, technically not forever. You're done when you die, right? Huh? <laughs> hey, come on. I just bought a bunch of crap and gave you the sale. For the contest, you're going to win that ham, man. That was nice. I can be nice. Hi. Well, I'm not really a ham guy, but this is pretty good. That's because it's a victory ham. You sent a monster back to hell, buddy. Yeah, I did. The ham tastes better because it's the spoils of victory. Plus, it's glazed. <laughs> you like that? Glazed? Uh, Funny, right? No, it's just, it's like... My mom and dad sold my soul to the devil. Yep. And I'm his indentured servant. How crazy is that? My dad forgot to pick me up from a sleepaway camp for three days. Probably the same thing, so... Camp was over, Sam. How sad is that? Anyway, you can blow the whole thing up if you want to, Sammy. Just tell the devil to eat it. If it's something you don't want to do, then you don't have to do it. No, but I think I do. I think I want to. You know? After all this, it's like I I, I feel like a grown-up, kind of. I mean, kind of. I, I, I feel responsible now. Huh. We'll help you, Sam. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Hey. 